We are at the Delta Halifax and we are in the gorgeous Harbor City Bar and Grill. They've done it over just last summer and now I'm standing beside the man who cooks uh, like there's no tomorrow because I was here for your big event the other night. Um, he's just, no, nah, it's no big deal. This is Les Stevens and you can cook great. Well, thank you, Stephanie. I'm not kidding. Everybody at our table had something different. I had the chowder. I love chowder. So I will tell you, thumbs up. And I, but everybody had something else and my dessert was to die for. And you're doing all of that in there. We're doing everything in house. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been cooking for how long though? For uh, 17 years. 17. Yeah. Working on 18. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he's a great Atlantic Canadian. You're living here in Dartmouth, right? I live in Dartmouth. But you're from New Brunswick. I grew up uh, outside of Riverview, okay. which is outside of Moncton. Yeah. 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 Oh, very good. And, and so uh, the, the reason we're here with Les today, um, although I would love you to cook up something from your menu, this is a condiment uh, that we can get here, yeah. right? Um, but this is an old family recipe. It is. We're doing uh, house-made ketchup. We're going to quickly blanch these tomatoes. I put a little X. See, right away he's lost me. Put a little X in the, uh, in the top. Take out the, the little stem. Okay. We're going to do that with uh, a dozen tomatoes. A dozen, okay. Yeah, fresh out of the garden. I know this time of the year it's kind of hard unless you have a greenhouse. Do you grow your own vegetables? Like you yourself? At home, yeah. Do you? Yeah, absolutely. Herbs, vegetables, yeah. yeah. I yeah. read that you love to cook at home. Like that's your, I, that's your I favorite I love to. Thing. Yeah, one of my favorite places to be is, you know, at the kitchen table with friends, family. So now this recipe is uh, generations old, but it's your great aunt? My great aunt Norma. This, well, it probably goes back longer than that, but uh, she's the one that passed it down through my dad to my mom and, and uh, now down to me. We're ready for the next step? Yes. Okay, so I've got boil. Yeah, so I've got boiling water yes. with salt. Okay. Salt just uh, helps uh, with the peelings. Putting the tomatoes in there. Just briefly. My whole life I've never blanched. Okay, blanching is just a quick way of... Uh, Deskinifying? For tomatoes, yes, or green vegetables, you'll want to do this same step. For the meantime, I'm going to sterilize some jars. So we've got boiling water again. The important part is the uh, sterilization. If you want to keep it preserved, you want everything sterile. Harbor City Bar and Grill, you're doing breakfast too, breakfast, right? Breakfast, buffet, a la carte breakfast, uh, lunch. Dinner. We're open from uh, 7 a.m. till 11 p.m. Very good. You know, sometimes you go to hotels and the restaurants. <laughs> Not good. But you're actually getting people coming from the city too. Which we is are. Great. We are seeing a lot more local traffic than yeah. we have, and we're really, really excited about that. How are we doing with our tomatoes? We're good. All we're right. gonna. We're gonna put those in the ice water now. Okay. You see how the ends kind of split yeah. open? Yeah. All right. And that's kind of a. That's the indication that they're ready to go put them in the ice water. But they're not cooked, right? Nope. No. They're going to cook in the in the next stage. Okay. Just want to peel. Yeah, these are just to get the skins off. Okay. And when you're uh, making your uh, your ketchup, you're dealing yeah. with significantly higher quantities, yes? Yeah. Like when we do it, we produce what we're doing here now with the This is going to produce approximately one uh, one jar. One jar. Oh. One liter jar. If we were behind the curtain of Oz in the kitchen, they have big, ginormous so, pots of ketchup. Yeah, we make it by the 40 gallon at a time. <laughs> That's a lot. So I'm going to move this over to here. Okay. Let's move this up to here. This is very cool. Now we're, um, we're this is the cooking service. Don't put your hand there. You a can. A cautionary tale. But it wasn't, you just had it boiling. It's, it's, it's hot, but it's, uh, it cool, it stops. As soon as I take this pot off, it stops. Neat. Yeah. So now, when people come here, can they do like a, a cooking parties? What are you doing with this table? Uh, we have uh, some plans in the works to have entertain like tables of eight. You know, whether it's three course fondue night, Fun. or you know, you can do uh, some Korean kind of barbecue stuff nice. with hot pots. Great. Uh, yeah, so we've got some plans in cool. in place. So this is just uh, the final product, just simmering. Okay. But I'm going to show you how to do this. So we've got our got our tomatoes. Okay. They're just coming out of the ice. You see how the skin's peeling back? Can you play an instrument? Can I? Yeah. Well, I attempt to. 
Like what? Um, harmonica, I really like. Uh, guitars. Should have had another knife, so Stephanie would have been able to jump See, in with me. Security would be on guard. I shouldn't handle anything sharp. So yeah, I see how I'm the. I'm gonna grab my coffee while you're doing that. Okay. Good, good opportunity to drink coffee. You see how the skins are just peeling right off that? Yes. You could do it with the skins on, but uh, you're gonna have that little bit of texture in there. So what if I'm out there and I'm watching? And now yeah. I know we're just doing ketchup, and it's great today. But if I'm like, I want to cook, I want to be a chef. Yeah. What would you say to those people? Because you see all these cooking shows now, where people are like. Re the reality real? shows? Yeah. Yeah. Um, want to make sure for one thing, don't, it's a, it's a career, it's, it's a. A lifestyle? A lifestyle. A life choice. Yeah, it's a lifestyle, absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. know, you're working holidays, you're working weekends, you're working all the times that the bit, you know, if people are filling your restaurant, it's because it's something going on and. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you have to be committed. You absolutely have yeah. to and have an understanding partner. That helps. Yeah, shout out to Les's wife, can I just say. Absolutely. And you guys are expecting, which is exciting. We are. So that keeps you on your toes as well. That's, Look, there's not enough stress that's where, at work. And uh, you know, that's that's the good thing about that is getting your uh, work-life balance yes. back in order. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's why you have great people under you that yeah. every day they're, you know, you're able to step away and you know that the place is running by itself. Right. We're chopping our tomatoes. Okay. Just rough chop. That's all you need. So I'm leaving seeds, everything, everything, everything oh, here. That's where all the nice. all the flavor is. I always look for the freshest tomatoes uh, on the vine, whenever possible. You know that these, these are aroma or plum plum tomatoes. Now you guys are huge on local. That's like a very big thing for you. We are, and again, that goes back to uh, the chef, the predecessors ahead of me, being you know local Nova Scotia. Um, Maritimers, living in the country, growing up with gardens ourselves, and right. you know, it's just really supporting that community. Next, we are going to put these tomatoes. I got a pot here. There's nothing else in that pot left. Nothing. There's no oil or anything. There's water in the. There's water in the tomatoes. And that's all you need. Yep. And you got that pretty hot. Yep, for now, I'm going to bring it up to a boil. Okay. And then I'm going to shut it down to uh, a simmer and let it simmer. So I've got my, my uh, 12 tomatoes. I've got two cups of uh, sugar. I, I thought that was salt first. I knew it was. That's going to be so salty. So yeah, I don't want to uh, freak anybody out. But it's sugar. It's, it's sugar. We've got a uh, teaspoon of uh, salt here. Okay. I like to use uh, coarse uh, sea salt. It's going to cook out anyways. We've got a little bit of cinnamon, about a teaspoon. Cinnamon? Yeah. And we've got a teaspoon of uh, ground clove. And we've got two cups of good old white vinegar. You know, when this recipe was developed, there wasn't any you know, all the fancy vinegars. Right. It was, you know. And don't mess with perfection. Don't mess with this recipe. And so that's just going to cook. Do I need to stir it? What do I need to do? I just stirred it up. It's all until uh, all the sugar. Periodically though yeah. or no? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And so go away, read a book, watch a movie, come just back keep it on, keep it on a simmer. And then you come over here. And this is the, uh, uh, just about the end stage here. About the okay. thickness you want. You see how the color deepened? Totally. As it, as it cooks down, the color just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay. So, should we have safety goggles? What is that? Yeah, did I bring those with me? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is just a, it's a hand and mixer. Can we see an, an, anything that's orange like that? It means like heavy equipment. Th yeah, this is industrial strength, okay. but it's the same as your, uh, your Hamilton Beach or your KitchenAid ones okay. at home. Just a pulse. Yeah, or you could use a, a stand-up blender. That, that would could work. Could I use a smoosher, a uh, masher? No, Absolutely. I could, okay. Yeah. I don't need to have one of these crazy things. No, so I'm just gonna, all I'm doing, just gonna give it, I like to have a little bit of coarseness in it. Okay. You can puree it as smooth as you like. And there, voila.
I just wipe around the rim here. Okay. And just to below the rim. Yeah, just below, if you see that, just yep. below that. Be careful because it is hot. You put your lid on with brand new seals. You need to have brand new seals every time. Okay. Yeah, you can use the same rings, but new seal uh, snap. Can you buy the seals separately? Absolutely, you can okay. buy them in boxes, uh, Canadian Tire, any of those places like that. Walmart, and then it's just finger tight. You set that over here, and as it cools, that lid is going to pop. It's going to go, okay. and then uh, then you're safe. You're all That's good it. to go. That's it. It's that simple. It's that simple. I can make this at home, or I can come down to the Harbor City Bar and Grill, which actually might be my preference. Is that all right? It's easier. <laughs> you know, just come ask for me, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll get you. And there's a stocked bar, too. So yeah, there that. you go. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, Les Stevens. You're very welcome. Thanks, Stephanie.